The gun control focus group we cited from Vice had a gentleman and a woman have this exchange here. Go ahead and check this out. No question. If we get rid of AR-15s for law-abiding citizens, how do we defend ourselves when those two guys, how do I defend myself and my children against those two guys who have AR-15s? Tell me how. And you said yourself that the police may not make it there in time. Tell me you how. I. the best chance I you got myself. in a situation like that is to get out the house. And if you want to have a shootout with two people with AR-15s and your children at home? She just stated that so they that, reach 30 far. rounds a piece? That's 90 rounds of bullets firing through the home? you think I can outrun your, that? <laughs> you need to get out of the house. Oh, sir, I still like that. I'm sorry. You gotta Okay, so that is a guy whose favorite sex position is holding a camera while five guys run a train on his wife. That guy's a pussy. He's a cuck. He's a loser. You look like you have something to say. <laughs> they catch you off guard? No, I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> First off, her scenario doesn't make sense. I want to make just be fair here. If guys are robbing your house, they're probably not coming in with rifles. Like, if they've got anything, it's probably like a handgun. They don't want that bulky stuff while they're trying to rob your house. That, that doesn't make sense. Also, the majority of uh, home invasions, defensive use of firearm situations are over in less than three rounds. So 90 rounds going through, it's not, not going to happen. I have a bigger problem with this, and it's, it's nothing to do with the gun debate. My issue is the fact that a grown man... I don't want to assume his gender, is making the argument to a woman nonetheless that you should flee your home with your tail tucked between your legs like a little bitch at the first sign of danger. It's proof that the regime has successfully demasculated half of the men in this country. Like, I can see. I'm not justifying it. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm not saying it's a positive thing for society. But I can see why young men have begun to drift toward people like Andrew Tate. Because let me tell you, man, the media has presented it that there are two options if you're a man, right? You can be a, a roided up, hyper-masculine, borderline misogynist like Andrew Tate, or you can be a pussy-bleeding little bitch like that guy. Those are your options. And I'm not a Tate fan, but if my son had to go one of two directions, Tate, every time. If those are the options. Though... It, do not be a cow. I, I, I would much rather young men in this country act like Andrew Tate than this castrated coward. Fortunately, there's a middle ground and you don't have to be either of them. The, the medium is somewhere in the middle. We have created a culture of weak, cowardly men like him whose first instinct is to run away or hide at the first sign of danger. Also, wh why is the innocent person... That's, that's having their home broken into the one who's expected to give the criminals just first dibs on their property. It's not a serious society that we live in that thinks that way. Like when soy milk drinking losers like that guy can tell people to run away with a straight face rather than protect their, their, their property from danger, a woman's more of a man than he'll ever be. Also, I'd be willing to bet on my life that guy's single. On my life, guarantee he's single. Because women don't like weak men. Because they're afraid to protect them. Guys like that, and if he's not, if he wasn't single before that, he might be soon. Guys like that, their first instinct is run away from the house. Like, like, sign of trouble, oh, get out of the house. That, that guy's going to leave you for dead. He's too scared to protect you. Okay? We've said this before that, um, or I, maybe I haven't said this on the show before, but I've said it in private conversation before. A man who refuses to resort to violence under any circumstances is just as worthless as a man whose only resort is violence, whose only option is to get violent. Those people are equally as worthless for different reasons. You, it's not about being violent or being a dangerous person. It's about being capable of being that person. And if your first instinct is, oh, there's trouble, better run. Who are you as a man? You need to stand your ground. You need to defend your property, your family. Like, ladies, if you matched with that guy on a dating site, this is your red flag. He has made it clear what he will do when the chips are down. Like, I hope you have taken self-defense classes. I hope you've got a gun. I hope you got a big dog. Something. Because this guy has made it clear 
that when it hits the fan, he's getting out of the house. Good luck, everybody else. <laughs> That's literally what he says as he's leaving his children and, and wife <laughs> to the home invaders. He is going to probably leave you out to dry. The only women that would actually prefer a guy like that are like even bigger red flags than that guy's presenting. Like they want someone who is weak and afraid to stick up for themselves so they can manipulate and control them. Like it's like the Jada Pinkett Smiths of the world. I'd also be willing to bet that he cries about women rejecting him because he's a nice guy. It's a common thread, common trend. It's disgusting. It's repulsive. Be better. Take the no, move on. Figure out why she said no. Different story. Like also, fleeing the house. Like, what if she lives in an apartment on the second floor? Was she supposed to jump out the window? What if it's too late to get out of the house by the time she wakes up and realizes what's going on? What if the guys see her trying to get out of the house? What if she has a weird layout that just makes it difficult to leave with both her and her children and get out unnoticed? What if she lives on the second floor of her house? Or are you implying that black women can't afford two-story houses, racist? What does she do? Does she jump out the window? Like th These are rhetorical questions, of course. We all know that a man, quote-unquote man, like that, his first, his response to her, his solution, would be to lay them, or lay there and let them do God knows what to her and her children. Not just because he's a weak little bitch, which he is, we've established this, but because at the end of the day, we know for an objective fact that by default, the anti-gun crowd is automatically the pro-rape crowd. The pro-child abuse crowd. Whatever you want. The pro-kidnapping crowd. Sure, we can make up these imaginary scenarios where the would-be victims escape from the house and, and, and get out unscathed. And they call the police that you guys all wanted to fund so badly to come save the day. But we know that's not how it works in real life. The only equalizer between a five foot three woman and a guy my size, like 6'1, 220, right? Or bigger. The only equalizer between those two people is Smith and Wesson or Glock or Taurus. No, not Taurus. Sorry. God, not Taurus. Ladies, if your man gets you a Taurus as a self defense gun, break up with him. He doesn't love you, he wants it to fail in the most important moments. Do not, like, seriously, if you love your wife, don't get her a Taurus for self-defense. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Not that the guy in the video would have to worry about that, of course, because he is an obese, soy-consuming virgin who will die alone due to his inability and outright refusal to both stand up for what he believes in and defend the ones he loves. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for Brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.